Welcome back. Shares of Signet, as you see, the largest diamond jewelry retailer in the world, are far higher this morning. This after the company beat expectations of the analysts who follow it. Jim Cramer is back, and he joins us with the company CEO. Hi, Jim. Thank you so much, David. Uh, it is my pleasure to bring on Jenna Drosos, who I have to say, Jim, you know, I think your system is adequately underestimated because you quarter after quarter after quarter deliver. But I've got a new thesis for you. My thesis is a lot of people have these pandemic plays and they're all going down. When I read what you've done this quarter, I realize people deferred Valentine's Day, Mother's Day and weddings. And now they're going to your stores. And that's why sales have been incredibly strong across the board. Well, thanks, Jim. I appreciate you having me on. Um, I, you know, we did deliver a strong quarter. I'm very proud of our team. We've been systematically transforming Signet now for the last four years. Uh, and we're not a COVID story. We are a transformed company. Um, we've been building competitive advantages that are really paying off in the kind of macroeconomic environment that we're seeing. We have a differentiated banner portfolio, different, 10 different banners that compete across price points, across purchase occasions. So as you say, as people are going to weddings, as they're uh, going back to work in you know, a new hybrid environment, they're looking for jewelry and things to accessorize. So we're there for them. Um, secondly, connected commerce is how people shop now. I mean, if COVID did anything to shopping, it took people online and, and they've stayed that way. We have two thirds of our customers who are now interacting with us both online and in a store. And there's no jewelry retailer that has the level of digital experience and the optimized store footprint that we have. And I then we've, I, done, we've done a lot financially, as you know. Yeah. I had to tell you, when I first saw your online, I said, oh, please, come on. People are going to order jewelry online or look at it. How did you know that something as precious as jewelry would transfer and transform online because a lot of us didn't think it was going to work. Right. Well, it was slow. I mean, slower than other categories. People do like to touch and feel jewelry. You know, how does a gold chain move in your fingers? It, it matters. But what we did was consumer understanding. And we, we learned that um, building a relationship, so getting advice and being able to visualize a product are the two most important things. And so we built competitive advantages in both of those. Another thing that you've done that I like, uh, a business is so robust, and I think people have to understand, you generate 9% top-line growth, which is extraordinary, 2.6% organic sales growth. At the same time, you mentioned uh, very plainly at the end that, look, if you have a recession, well, you know what? Don't count us out in recession or a slowdown. Jewelry holds up a lot better than I thought. Jewelry does hold up better. People understand that precious metals, diamonds, gemstones retain or even grow in value. So jewelry tends to become a gift of choice in recessionary environments. Now, the environment that we're in now with the war in Ukraine and the high levels of inflation, it's, uh, it is, you know, a, a different kind of environment. But we're just leaning into our strengths. We have such strong vendor relationships, for example, that we can value engineer our products and if we need to take price increases, we can take lower increases than many of our competitors can. And so that creates a relative value equation that we think is very positive in this environment. Well, one of the other strengths that you have is a st uh, strength in balance sheet. Uh, and you have no hesitation after the stocks come down and the price earnings multiple is five. That that's just a, maybe one of the best buys you can have is your stock. Exactly right. So as you saw, we did significant share repurchase in the first quarter. We have uh, a new authorization that's higher. So we'll we'll continue to be in the market buying Signet stock. We think we're undervalued um, because the sustainability of our transformation and Q1 as a pressure test has indicated that we have an ability to reach the goals that we've put out, which is to be a $9 billion in sales company and deliver consistent annual double digit operating margin. Uh, is there anything left of the uh, the pre uh, Virginia days, the pre Jenna days, where we know uh, lawsuits, where we know that there was discrimination? Have we put everything to bed now? 
We really have, Jim. Uh, this, this is a transformed company strategically and culturally. I'm particularly proud of what we've done in the area of citizenship and sustainability. We published our report last week. We're making very strong progress on that. Uh, we've been recognized now four years in a row by the Bloomberg Gender Equality Index. We have women at every layer of our organization leading strong inclusion scores as well. Our company uh, employee engagement scores are at an all-time high, and that's really what's driving our results. It's our great team. Uh, one last thing. I, I forgot that repair is a great business, and repair went down uh, during the pandemic. People didn't want to go in. Uh, there's pent-up repair. That's a great business for Signet, isn't it? It's a great business. Repair sales were up in the quarter, but we're not resting on our laurels as being the number one jewelry repair company in the country. We're building. We've hired more jewelers to, uh, to meet that demand. We've been able to reduce our repair turnaround times to less than a week. The industry average is more around three weeks. And now we have a virtual repair tracker. You can get a text and know exactly where your repair is in the process at all times. That's something that gives customers a lot of trust and confidence. Well, uh, Jenna, you have reinvented Signet in a way that I think everyone would be proud of. I don't understand why the stock's at five times earnings. I think it's a great buy. I think you're doing the right thing with your capital. Uh, I bet the stores are going to have a great fall. Jenna Drozos, thank you so much for coming on Squawk on the Street. Thank you, Jim.